Good evening. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. To put it simply, if too many people become seriously unwell at one time, the NHS will be unable to handle it, meaning more people are likely to die, not just from coronavirus, but from other illnesses as well. Huge numbers are complying, and I thank you all. The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. That is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. Any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person and travelling to and from work but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. Hope you guys are good, hope you're staying safe, hope you're washing your hands properly. Wash your hands, the insides, the top, the top, the sides, all around, wash it and then rinse it. On this video you're going to see what a lockdown looks like in England on a weekend and on a weekday. I bought the Corona, it is me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London based content creator. The Sunday today, I want to show you guys what London is looking like on a lockdown. Obviously, I can't go everywhere, I'm not going to go everywhere. But yesterday, I went to the market. I went to East Street Market by Elephants and Castle. Guys, Elephants and Castle is looking beautiful these days. Once they pull down that big shopping mall, the place is going to look burnt. I will insert a clip of like while we're driving and how the place looks. is transforming. Like it's actually looking like Zone 1 right now. It's actually supposed to be Zone 1, Zone 2, you know, but Elephants and Castle has always been shabby. East Street Market was running, everything was happening. I'm going to put a video now to see how everybody was still buying and selling. The only thing about history market was the prices. People planting normally is three for one pound. Like you go to everywhere in London, sometimes you see three for one twenty and stuff. So I went there yesterday and it was three for two pounds. I just bought like nine pieces. I guess. So yeah, I got that. I got fish as well. I just got some random Nigerian snacks. I'll probably show you guys them. I was going to say I was going to take a picture and put for Instagram here, yeah, but I'll probably do that later. You bought tomatoes, guys. Quarantine meal number one is stew. Stew is a staple nigerian tomato stew is such a staple so having that in large quantities can go help you go through because you can eat stew with bread yam beans pasta so many things i bought a lot of tomato and i chopped everything off i blended it now it's in the pot once we go come back from going out today i'm going to make stew and then fish sunday no church i actually put i'm going to put the link here there's a place where you can watch live masses i've always known about this place to be honest because this country sometimes the cold doesn't even let you want to go out anyway so I we said mass from the website normally it's the whole church you say mass with the whole people in the church but this time it was just the priest when he came for communion he did all the Eucharistic prayers that there was no need sharing anything just had his own bits of it and that was it mass ended I did blending and everything and everything just been chilling and I said why not just go to Asda the Aldo will be just to mess it to you I'm sure it's going to be empty so just go to Asda so you guys can see some things I'll also show you the streets the government on Friday instructed that all schools will close that Friday so nobody's going to, to school or and stuff tomorrow. Restaurants and bars were also instructed to close that Friday so that was their last day of trading with customers coming in but most restaurants and bars are still offering takeaway services. You can still order from your favorite place and you get 
you know, it delivered. Though I'm sure it will cost to be high to deliver. Even um, coronavirus seems to be adding prices to everything now. So even the food might be costly, but I don't want to waste my money trying to order anything to prove anything to anybody. So yeah, we're just going to go. Asta now won't have eggs, they won't have pasta. So really, I'm wondering what they would even have there. Asta and then the main road. Because um, today is Sunday, I want to show you guys a weekday as well in England. So tomorrow, we're going to go Houston Station together. You see how the road is in the morning, we get to the station. Normally, Euston is one of the busiest stations in London. You guys will see how busy Euston station will be tomorrow. And then I'll take you into the city I work in. You see, in fact, you see the train, you see everything. You'll probably see me coming back as well. So then um, I'm going to use the underground. You see how the underground is looking. And that will be about it. So at least you get a wind and a weekday just so that you guys will get an understanding of what the lockdown is in England. Come along and let's go to Asda now. <laughs> Almond milk. Almond milk. Yeah. Yeah, I've been able to get some beads. I think some things actually went down in price. Like the eggs, I didn't even know how much they are because there was no price in the place I was like so but I took a rack of the thing because we have just like two pockets left in the house. What else did I buy? Bought this bread as well, soft white bread. This was the only December we had there, but I'm sure when you see with something else it'll be nice. Coleslaw, I also bought this juice. Normally we buy the orange one, but Clementines are very close to oranges. I think Clementines are like tangerine. They're very close to orange, so I just got this one. You guys saw that they have plantain, right? Yes, Asda actually sells plantain and they try to sell pepper, like scotch bonnet, which is, I think, this Nigerian pepper, I don't know. But theirs are never as hot as the proper scotch bonnet you get in the market. But because we're making stew and stuff, and I don't want to like pepper because we love pepper in that house. And pepper is even cool. I'm just getting lime, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Let me go and get lime. Besides that, that's about this. I'm just going to get lemon now. Lemon, not lime, sorry, lemon. And um, yeah, we have kale, we have some grapes that we can blend together. And yeah, that'll be it. So I just get lemon and pay for this stuff. I go back outside to meet him. So, guys, I'm done with lemon now. Just went out to get some shots for my Instagram on my phone. I'm going to pay now. I thought he would jump inside this place looking for what Stephanie is still doing here. So, finally, things are now sensible. I didn't look for toilet roll because they have like blue paper at home, just eggs, and I found them. I'm on the queue now for the self-service. I don't even know if self-service is actually a better option right now. Then again, do my stuff I'm going to touch and then just tap. I didn't even bring a bag. I'll have to buy it back. I didn't plan to buy this much to be honest, but I just realized going as well buy so that after work tomorrow I don't have to start looking for any rubbish again. Waiting for my turn. Morning loves, Monday morning now, bright and early. I see the sunshine, still cold, I don't mind this sun. We're going to go to work together today. Usually because of, he drops me at the station and I use the bus, so I don't use the underground going to work, but I'll use it coming. Let's go to Hammersmith station, I'll take the bus, ride down to Houston, and then you see everything till I get to my destination. <laughs> Thomas 
Smith Station now. Let's use the bus as I told you because it's just one bus. You're staying in service in the underground. I just thought it made more sense to just stop here and get the bus from here. The roads were normal. On the radio, they're just talking about kids and how they've sent some kids home. Some parents are angry because it's stopping them from working and all that. I'm gonna wait here. So, what I need is the bus 27 that goes to Chalk Farm. So, it goes to Kensington, goes to Nothing Hill. Let's catch up on YouTube or listen to music when I'm on the thing. I have a book to read now. Let me show you guys. It's been a while I read a novel. I had gotten this book from the charity store like a while ago, but it's just been in the house. Every day I'll say, ah, Stephanie, you carry this book along. Then I carry my phone, editing all the pictures in the world. There's never time. This is the book. <laughs> Killing it. I just thought you sounded really motivating and inspiring and stuff, you know. So I just said, I get I don't know. The author, I don't know anything about it, but I just like the, <laughs> the colors and it matches my outfit today. So yeah, I'm gonna start killing it and then just see what happens. Um, YouTube wise, what I'm even thinking now is to do a lot of sit down videos because this COVID is not even allowing people to move up and down the old place by too much. So I'll be doing a lot of like style tips and like sit down videos basically. People are actually tired of getting angry. Like, did you see that girl? I even thought she was so something wrong with her. She was like, video me, video me. I have corona. I'm just exhausted. Look at Houston, guys. Let me show you a typical clip of Houston Station on a normal day when I used to come here. Gonna find my train. I guess I'll be the only one on the train today, but yeah, whatever. Guys, so I've just checked with the ticket thing. I can't even see my service here. Normally, I use the A13, but for this one, they actually got A46. I just realized from the ticket, 46 is not there, the A13 is not there for the train service I got. If you enter another one, man, they will just charge you once you get on it. It's not even worth it. I've just spoken to one of the guys, and he said I have to wait. He says I have to wait basically till 8.55 to get on the train and according to that train I'll be uh, getting to work at uh, some very crazy ass time sha. 9.57 years basically so I'll be really late I won't be late sha, because training starts at 10 but you know I'm usually early like what the heck so I've just gone to the office of the provider I bought from because that's what I was advised to do the guy said 8.24 this is no more 8.50 whatever that the other lad said hopefully i'll get there before nine which is how i roll man nobody gets into work late it's not me it's not me that's 8 24 there number three on the block and guys it's been delayed to 8 27. a few moments later guess the train has been delayed again just look at this thing <laughs> so apparently today they are running a sunday service like on the train which is usually scant so it's not like a monday where everyone's going to work that's why there's so much delays and everything so right now i want to go to the toilet to see if i could get my hands cleaned up maybe. Some people, when they are telling you how to wash your hands, they now start scrubbing it with one random brush. I don't know if you guys saw that Tatcha video when she was washing her hands with like one strong brush. No, you shouldn't do that. And then after washing for 20 30 seconds with um, proper washing gel, you should also moisturize. It shouldn't be dry and then leaving it to be patchy and stuff. But this girl is just being stubborn everywhere. 
all the announcements are just saying except if you absolutely have to travel stay at home guys i absolutely have to travel but no one is forcing anybody in my training the girl that has asthma and the people that just have a certain pre-existing condition they kind of separate them because they feel they are a bit more vulnerable so it's just to do all precautionary measures like wash my hands stay away from people don't touch things keep myself clean improve my immune system with what i'm consuming what's the time now it's 17 i still have another 12 minutes to wait all right guys um, i'll see you on the train like i am tired guys i am tired exhausted it's the word arrived my station and you can see how MC it was normally there's so many people looking for at the time for the next train or whatever did you see that old man like I almost tried to help him with three boxes man but I don't just love Corolla man jeez I just left him but I did it okay he's just holding three boxes I don't think anybody would even help him it's crazy man this corona thing is crazy so um have a good day guys or yeah just keep, keep watching because you're gonna see me in the next one second one eternity later guys i'm done for the day today was long like normally 3 30 i'm already up but we were training for so long and it was getting deeper and deeper so i couldn't even form i want to start going home kind of thing i sat down there normally my train is around this time i just like to leave earlier see you guys at Houston station hope your day is going good so far mine was fine nice day so much to take in <laughs> On a normal day, as you're coming out of this train, there's like loads of people in front of that side trying to jump in. Now, no one can be bothered because lots of people come to work in London, so I'm always against traffic. of the video hope you enjoyed watching i don't know if it was something to enjoy but yeah hope you get a gist of what's happening right now in london if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button click the bell beside the subscribe button so you get all my notifications click the thumb up button and drop a comment if you feel like because i love to read from you see you on the next episode Bye bye